Look at your clothes. Look at your appearance. Then, look at other people's clothes and appearance. Well, you will have some feelings if you want to be close friends with or not, which is normal for everyone. Sometimes I imagine people's personalities by their cover too. We call this lookism. This word might be familiar for someone, but not for someone. Well, it means people judging others by their outer cover. But do you know them well, or have you talked with them a lot? I think choosing our friends based on their appearance is not right. These are our biased ideas to make me. Our society is prone to lookism. There are some examples to support it. First, I haven't experienced to read a book named Wonder, which dealt with a boy named August who has nicknamed zombie or monster because of his face as congenital anomaly, which means his face looks really different when he was full born. Actually, he's very kind and fun boy and insight, but classmates just think he's mean only by his appearance. Second, there is a TV program that picks people to do cosmetic surgery. The reason is that people want to be prettier and look more fascinating on the outside. They think outer cover is more important than the inside. But it is so funny that there isn't any standard person to be prettier or ugly. Third, there is a webtoon about this lookism. It is about one person having two bodies. One is really handsome and tall, but another is really ugly, small, and fat. It shows the difference of people's behavior of each body. Like this, our society is all prone to lookism. We should look inside of ourselves if we are choosing people to be friends with by their beauty. We should not be biased to think pretty people are nice and try to talk more with diverse people. Also, we should spend more time to look inside of mind's friend. I think everyone is fascinating and has their own beauty. Beauty is in the eye of people, they say. We should get rid of lookism. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew, and Korean name is Hyunyuk Yu. I want to tell you about my favorite dinosaur. My favorite dinosaur is Spinosaurus, because I like predator, and Spinosaurus is the largest predator in the prehistoric world. And Spinosaurus has 60 centimeters of nail. Simply perfection dinosaur. And I think Spinosaurus can win Giganotosaurus a fight. Because Spinosaurus is bigger than Giganotosaurus and have a long nail. And Spinosaurus is better than Giganotosaurus. And Spinosaurus have cell in a bed. So Spinosaurus can give straight to Giganotosaurus. But Spinosaurus has smaller head than Giganotosaurus. <coughs> Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus was live in Africa and best dinosaurs in Africa. And Africa's second best dinosaur is Carcanodontosaurus. Spinosaurus was live in liver. And they usually eat fish, but sometimes they eat dinosaur. And they never eat shell fish. And Spinosaurus live in early Cretaceous. I saw the dinosaur movie. Spinosaurus was hero. The movie's name title was Jurassic Park 3. In this movie, I saw great power of Spinosaurus. That was Spinosaurus broken bread and hard steel wool. Spinosaurus being a Tyrannosaurus with only tail and chin. Spinosaurus has strong chin and tail. That sound said Spinosaurus is very, very strong. So I like Spinosaurus. 
Thank you for listening to my speech contest. Hello, my name is Jason Lee and I am from class Harvard. Today I will tell you about K-pop music. K-pop is an abbreviation of Korean popular music. Peoples of different cultures enjoy the song, which means there is no limit how popular K-pop can be. In 2010, K-pop videos received 800 million times on YouTube, and in 2011, the number increased to 2 billion. That means our popularity is quickly growing. In 2012, a K-pop group, Girls Generation, performed in the United States, appearing on two television stations. Another K-pop group, Big Bang, held a concert which sold out quickly. We should also think about the influence of country of creating music that the whole world loves. When people in other countries listen to K-pop, it makes them like people of Korea. We should feel pride, pride in our ability as a country to make music that is loved all over the world and we should feel excited for the future that K-pop will bring to Korea. Thank you for time. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Jung Hyun Ba. My speech title is A Minecraft Story. Today, I'd like to tell you about Minecraft. I'm not sure how many of you have heard of this world-famous online game. Minecraft was developed by a brilliant Swedish young man, Notch. It was first released in 2001 in 2009 and it is still under construction with never-ending improvements. Notch made this game with the motive of Infinity Miner in which you have to gather as much mineral or aura as possible in a given period of time. You can make the objects to block other players mining and people were interested more in making objects than developing their own mines. But some hackers broke into the source code of Infinity Miner and finally it became an open source. At the time, Notch made his own game based on this open source program. Notch loved playing Lego game when he was a little kid. I like Lego and many of you would have spent a lot of time with Lego. Let me tell you about the younger years of Notch. When he was a kid, he was not happy in his family. His father was a drug addict and his parents got divorced. So he spent a lot of time with Lego or playing computer games by himself. But Notch just didn't play with the Lego. He combined this analog toy with a computer game. It's Minecraft. Today, millions of people around the world play this game every day. And here's one more thing. His company is called Mojang, which means components in Swedish. With many components of Lego, he built a new world in Minecraft. I think that the most important things in life are imagination and friendship. And I found Minecraft as a world to grow my imagination and make friends all over the world. See you in Minecraft. Thank you for listening to my speech. Hello, my name is Flora. Today, I want to introduce my future dream to you. My future dream is to be a doctor. Have you ever seen sick children on TV? Whenever I saw the program, I feel pity for children and use it to help work without sick children. A doctor is someone who is qualified in medicine and treats people who are ill. They are a pediatrician, dentist, internal medicine doctor, and etc. Among them, I wanted to be a pediatrician. Pediatrician is doctor who treated for child and junior's health, such as influenza, headache, vaccination, and child's normal growth. Pediatrician has to diagnose patient's disease and prescribe medicine. Also, he should have a charm relaxing cry kids because kids get fear at hospital. Ordinary time, I use it to play hospital game with my friends. They are nurse, doctor, and patient law, 
and doctor was my most interesting to me. During doctor, I can get achievements, and friends are satisfied my doctor. So I think doctor is proper job to me. Being a pediatrician, I have to process wrong time. First, I have to go to the medical college. Second, I have to take national examination. Then I have to get the permission. Second, I have. Um, third, I will be international doctor for global world. For achieving my dream, I will do much efforts. First, I will read books about medical science and get interest to medical news or magazines. Second, I will study hard the math and science. Third, I will study the English that international common language because of foreign kids who live in the Korea. Lastly, I have to get mine that help poor people. So I go to volunteer and nursing on regularly. If I become a pediatrician, I want to be a great doctor like Korea Shubaitur Zangiyo. I will treat and care patients with mine that face my son and daughter sincerely. Thank you for listening.